everyone. Welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and this is... Pet McDonald. And we're here to begin our gameplay of Underworld Awakening Shane Spire. <laughs> no. I think it said Shane Spire, too. <laughs> I'm so wrong. It is Warhammer Underworld Shade Spire. Shade Spire. It's, it's a bit of a mouthful. We'll just call it Shade Spire. Spire? Shade, Shade Spire. Spire. We'll call I'll call it Shade, Shade Spire. Gosh, no. <laughs> Look, this is fine. This is fine. We're doing fine. We've already set up the game. We're ready to go. We're ready to play. We, we placed the boards. We drew our opening hands. Uh, objectives are on the table. Our figures are on the table. Yes, we're our figures. And, and we know who's going first. We already did our roll offs. And you're going first. Spoilers. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> but listen, uh, the, I think it's kind of interesting to point out our factions here and, and kind of what's different about them. Yeah. The, mine are blue. <laughs> yeah, and, and mine are red, like go. our shirts. Now, the one thing you'll probably notice especially is that Rodney has three units. I have five. Yeah, I, I seem like I'm at a disadvantage here a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to win. <laughs> well, that could be true. But my units are also stronger. They, they can take a, a beating a little better than yours. However, yours are faster moving. Mm, and mine want to take a beating. <laughs> they want to take a beating. Is that why they're so red? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's, that's not their skin, and that's not armor, because they're clearly not wearing armor. No. This is, they bathe themselves in blood <laughs> before every battle. They are called the Blood Band. Now, first of all, I should make clear, we do not know, we do not know the lore of this game. Mm. <laughs> At all. I made that up completely. <laughs> completely so. Don't take our words for this. My guys are blue. They're not bathed in, in blue liquid or anything. Uh, but, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but they are covered in armor. They're like encased in, in armor, which is probably what makes them a little bit stronger. And Listen, blue. And, and blue as I'd well. I'd be sad if I was wearing that much armor. <laughs> These guys are awesome looking. They're really cool. I, I think they It's heavy really though. Cool. Yeah, they, they, and they move, that's why they move slower. That's why they move slower. Yeah, it's very thematic. But listen, if you are big into the lore of this game, know we are going to make, uh, uh, we're going to botch it up entirely. But uh, hopefully you can still get a sense of how the game works through this anyway. Speaking of which, let's go to the table and get started. Let's do it. As mentioned earlier, I'll be going first, and I think I need to move up and control some of these objectives. So I'm going to be moving Targi here up three spaces. Now I have four movement, that's plenty of movement to get there. I don't think his name's Targi. Uh, Targor, but his friends call him Targi. <laughs> okay. Not that he has any friends. All right, well no matter what we're calling Targi or Targor or whatever, we have to give him one of these move tokens. It's more like an anti-move token. <laughs> You're right. What this means is he cannot move again this round. So after someone has taken the action for their turn, they can then choose whether or not they want to play a power card from their hand during this power step. Do you have anything you'd like to do? I don't. Okay, so then it comes over to me. I could play something if I want to. And um, I don't think I will either. Now if I had, it would go back to you. Yeah, and I'd be able to do it again. But because we both passed, now back to the table. All right. Now that my activation is over, I'll flip one of these tokens, and it's over to you. Okay, well, I'm going to move Severin Steelheart, leader of my Stormcast Eternals, onto this crystal helmety shard thing. It's also called an objective. <laughs> yes, it's also an objective. And because I moved, I have to place this token here. Okay, so now it's the power step, and I don't have a card I want to play. Me neither. So I'll flip one of my activation tokens over. All right, Pep, what do you want to do? Charge! The blooded sake has thirsted long for combat. It's been one activation. Trifle matters. Well, either way, because he charged, we're going to place this token, showing that he cannot charge or attack again after the attack he's about to resolve. Yes, I'll take down this cowardly blue foe ahead of me. It's Oberyn. I don't know his name, I just know he's dead. To resolve this attack, I'll be rolling two dice, and I'm looking for Warhammers. And as the defender, I'm only rolling one die, but I'm looking for shields. Ready to do this, Bep? Let's do it. All right. Oh, ho, ho. oh no, this is bad. So you have two successes, and I have, uh, that's a zero successes. Regardless of how many successes I have, as long as I have more than you, you're taking three damage. And Oberyn can only suffer four wounds, and then he's taken out. So that was a very good charge. It's not done yet. That's right, because now you can choose to drive me back. And I would love to, because that's going to make your next turn a little bit harder. If you're right, it is, because I was hoping to use these guys to support each other. Definitely not going to happen now, because I'm going to drive a wedge between the two of you. Look, before we continue, I just want to quickly mention this dice tray that I'm using is from Dogmite Games. I just want to say that because that way I won't get asked in the comments. We got these little component trays also from Dogmite <laughs> that's, Games. That's true. They're off screen, but we are, we are using those as well. And who makes this table? <laughs> Okay, look, I'm not trying to... It's Geek and Son. <laughs> look, this is not product placement here. You're Carpenter. <laughs> There's no sponsorship <laughs> happening here. Look, someone's going to ask. I'm just letting people know. All right, so what's happening? The power step. The power step. I choose not to activate anything. Oh, that's right. So now I have to decide if I'm going to or not. Um, uh, I'm tempted. I'm very, very tempted. But uh, what's the health of your character? Three. 
I will not use a power card. So you can end your activation here, flipping over one of those tokens. Ta -da! And it's back over to me. Well, they don't call him Ober in the Bold for nothing. I'm going to charge back in here and attack that bloody axe wielding sake. And because this is a charge, I'll have to place a token beside him. And I'll be rolling two dice for my attack and looking for Warhammers. And I'll be rolling one defense dice looking for squiggly arrows. All right, Oberyn, let's do this. Whoa, Oberyn was fired up. That is two critical hits. And you got a defense pep, but two successes to one means that I did win this. Plus yours are crits. I blasted him into a pulp. Now he would do three damage, but that's gonna be enough to actually take out your figure. Well, he lived up to his title of blooded. And when you take out a figure, you gain one of these glory tokens. Well, now I have to decide if I'm gonna use any power cards, and I don't think I'm going to. What about you, Pep? I would love to, but I can't. So that will end my activation, Pep, and over to you. Next up, I'm gonna charge with Arnold. Pep, there's no way his name is Arnold. I can see right here his name is Arnold. It's Arnold. I think that's a typo. <laughs> No, I, think that, I don't think I can argue with that. It's possible. Either way, I gotta put this token down to show I won't be attacking or moving anytime soon. Well, except for this attack that's part of the charge. And once again, you're rolling two dice and I'm rolling one die. My attack isn't quite as ferocious as before though. I need to roll swords this time. And there's only one side showing that on each of your dice. But really, I'm looking for a crit. All right. Yes! Oh, yes indeed. I rolled a crit too, so we're tied there, but you have two successes in total. So the attack succeeds. But it wasn't a critical success, so I don't get to use my ability here. But you do one damage to Severin Steelheart. Hooray! Arnold's celebration voice is a little higher pitched than I would have expected. That's fair, but don't get too comfortable yet because now I can drive you back. Oh, that's right. Do you, uh, do you want to do that? Oh, especially since you can't move this turn? Do I ever. I'm going to be moving you right back <laughs> oh, into the corner. So that means I'm not going to be able to attack you on my activation. And for the play step, I don't have any cards I want to play. Yeah, me either. So that's one more activation complete. Now one very important thing I don't want to forget is that I have an Inspire ability on all of my characters and this one just got triggered. Because I rolled a critical during the defense, I can flip this card over and now it's on its Inspired side. I'll roll two dice on defense and I have a new special ability when making this secondary attack. You still have that wound though. Oh uh, yes, that's, that's true. Now unfortunately I can't show you my cards. I certainly am not going to show you my cards, but if I could, you would see just how much that disrupted my plans. Perfect. Boy, oh boy. So I'm actually going to change up what I'm going to do this round. I was going to attack back, um, but not now. Instead, I'm going to use my activation to draw a power card and see if I want to use it. Um, no, I, for the power step, I won't be doing anything. What about you? Neither will I. Okay, so that ends my activation and back over to Pep. Okay, time for another charge, and it's going to be made with Karsis the Chained. More like Unchained. Only figuratively. Now hold on a second here, Pep. I see a problem. You're too far away. You might think that, but Carl here has a range of two on one of his attacks. It does a little bit less damage, but I only need one to kill you. I gotta hope for a good roll here. Ready, Pep? I'm not, but let's do it anyway. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I see a Warhammer here, but you needed swords. I did. I have no successes, you have no successes, it's tied, so the attack fails, and because there was no successes at all, you can't do a drive back. Regardless of my success, I still completed one objective. Blood for the blood god! Well this is interesting because normally you would complete objectives during the end phase. This one, however, says I can score it immediately after doing three charge actions in the same phase. Well good job there, we can see down here, it means you're going to be getting one glory token. And if you complete an objective like this during the action phase, you immediately draw a new one. Which I'm doing now. Oh, interesting. And I don't plan to play any cards during my power step. And uh, I'm not going to either. So that means my last activation is done. Well, for my last activation, I'm going to have Angrad Bright Shield charge in and attack. I'm going to see how Carl likes a hammer to the face. Turns out that's his favorite thing. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if I can give him a few hammers. I'm going to be rolling three dice with this attack. And I'll simply be defending with one. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, not the right kind of defense. Yes, and I got one success. So this attack was successful. I only do two damage, so I don't kill him. But I now have the option of driving him back. And I think I will. I'll shove him away with my shield. For the power step, Pep, I don't have anything here I want to do. What about you? Me neither. And that ends my final activation. I'm first to complete my end phase, so I'll begin by checking to see if I can complete any objectives. 
I can't, then I can discard as many as I wish. I'll actually discard this one. I don't think I'm going to manage to pull that off anymore. Well, now, Pav, you actually get to play any upgrade cards you might like to. I do have an upgrade I'd like to play. It is called Grizzly Trophy, and it goes directly onto my leader, Garrick. What does this do? Whenever he takes out an enemy fighter, I gain an additional glory point. Speaking of which, because you just played an upgrade, you'll have to spend this glory point by flipping it over. And now you can get rid of other power cards in your hand that you might not want to use. I do have a few I'd like to toss out, especially this Berserker charge, because you killed Sake, so I don't really have a use for it anymore. True, he's the only one who can be assigned that upgrade. And maybe we should mention why you had so many discarded cards at the beginning of this phase. That's right. During the setup, I took the option to mulligan, and I did it for both decks. So I discarded my objective and my power cards and drew new ones. Speaking of which, you can now draw back up to three objective cards and five power cards in hand. All right, now I resolve my end phase, and I also don't have any other objectives I can complete, and I don't have any I want to discard. But I do want to perform an upgrade on Bright Shield, so I'll spend this point and add Blessed by Sigmar. This will give her plus one wound, which means now she has a total of five. Oh, she'll be hard to kill. I hope so. And now I can discard some power cards, and I do have two that I want to get rid of here. I have three left in hand, so I'll draw two more to bring myself back up to five, and that completes my end phase. All right, well, as we start the second round, we're going to have a roll off to see who activates first. Well, I got no critical successes there. Let's see if I can do any better. Well, no better, and you did miss the tray there, so let's uh, try it one more time. <laughs> can you believe what I just rolled? Well, uh, Pep, let's see if, uh, if you can tie that result. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going first. I think so. Go ahead. Oh, sigh. Well, Rodney, <laughs> I guess I get to decide who's going to go first. Who's going first? I think I'm going to choose myself. I'm going to choose the Stormcast Eternals. You know, it's funny. I think my names are just so much nicer than yours. I got Steelheart. I've got Oberyn the Bold. I got Bright Shield. And you've got... Uh, Karsis the Chain. Targor. <laughs> Garrick Gorbeard. What was wrong with their parents? Why did they give them such terrible names? I feel like those are nicknames. I don't think it's Karsis of the Chain family. <laughs> well, I don't know. It might explain why you're out for blood so much. Jeez. Well, listen. We're going to end things here and turn it over to you guys. I'll let you see what's in my hand. Of course, I'll let you see the board. And let me know what you think I should do, both with my activation and maybe even what ploy cards I might want to use during the power step. And if you like what someone says, give them a thumbs up in the comments. But if you don't, maybe propose your own suggestion. And whichever one gets the most votes, that's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. The blooded sake has laded Wong for combat. <laughs> That was a delightful word salad you just created there. I know, it was, that was really, really good. My turn's over. Well, technically, it doesn't matter the order. Because you're not going <laughs> to... This is my stern face. You're smiling. You just smile more the angrier you get. It's true. <laughs> Three, two, one. But, until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Can we do it again? <laughs> yeah, sure.